guys doing? It's Libby coming to you again with my fifth video diary from my fifth week at Seven Hills Vet Clinic. So this week was very interesting because I got to watch a spay. This time I wasn't really in the room, I was just kind of on the outside, but I still got to see most of it. A spay is kind of like a neuter, only it's on a female animal, and this time it was a female dog. And what they do in a spay is they remove the ovaries, and with this they have to dig around a little bit more than they do with the testicles, because testicles are kind of right there on the surface, the ovaries are more in. So what they did, they took the laser, as usual, and made the incision, and you know, no bleeding because it's cauterizing as it cuts. After he found the ovaries, he kind of started to suture it immediately, and then he lasered them off by transecting the arteries, which really means he just kind of made sure the arteries were lasered in such a way that there wouldn't be much bleeding. There was also a dog there that had a mass. It was just like a wart kind of looking thing right here on its head. So to do that, instead of putting the dog under anesthesia, they just gave it a local, which means it was sedated, but it was still awake. And then they put, or then they lasered the mass off, which took not very long. There were also the perios, because there's always perios. And those, nothing unusual happened. They all just got their teeth cleaned. And it's nice because the vet techs are really starting to allow me to do more stuff. Even if some other techs are around, the vets and the vet techs kind of just hand a dog or, off to me or ask me to take a temperature or something, which is really cool because they know that I want to be a vet and the fact that they're allowing me to do all this stuff really means to, a lot to me because it actually seems like they care, you know, instead of just having me be there and humoring me. So the message this week is if your dog eats something potentially harmful, such as a rock, definitely take the dog in to the vet immediately so they can figure out if they need to do surgery or if the dog can just either puke the rock back up or pass it. And another thing you want to do, if you do have a dog who eats rocks, chances are they're going to do it again even after you've done it, after they've had surgery to get one, rid of one. So what you might want to do is put something that would turn the dogs off of the rocks onto the rocks. Chili, pep chili pepper, like the, the juice from it, it's, dogs are, have an aversion to it. So if you put that on some rocks, they get one in their mouth, their mouth is burning and they're like, oh, I don't want to swallow that. So they spit it out. Thanks for watching. The next video will be up soon.